Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video game haul. So, this was off a guy who has seen me on YouTube or has subscribed to me and his name is Clint, really, really cool guy. Um, I asked him if I could do this video just showing you the items and stuff like that um, and he agreed to that which was really, really cool because obviously um, I'm excited to share this with you guys. I'm actually really excited. I'm excited about pretty much all of the haul but... I'm really excited about one particular console that I will show you uh, last. And I'm going to find it hard to sell it, to be honest. I really am. I'm going to find it hard to sell it. But, um, yeah, first off, before we get into it, um, I uh, I just wanted to say, if you ever have, you know, a job lot that you feel I'd be interested in, whether it's video games, I don't know, anything you see on my haul videos, if you think I'm if you think I might be interested in, obviously you need some quick cash or whatever, and you you can't, uh, you don't have the time to sell it individually or whatnot, then please feel free to drop me a message over on my Facebook page. Whether you're watching this now or a year from now, as long as my Facebook page link is down below, then I'm probably still in business and ready to deal. So um, yeah, we. I mean, I've done this a few times with buying job lots off YouTube subscribers and things like that. And we've always been able to negotiate and work work out a price. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's always gone pretty smoothly. Touch wood, touch wood. So, uh, yeah, just wanted to say that, mention that, that that is an option if ever, you you know, you need to clear some stuff or whatever. Um, but, yeah, so, um, we basically, I just want to say as well, before we start, uh, this seller was really, really um, professional. He was in communication with me all the time. He really was descriptive. I mean, he went into um, into detail on the condition of items, and it was it was just really uh, nice to see um, that he was being so descriptive and really um, really being a good seller. Because you know, some people, you know, you get them from time to time, whether it's on eBay or wherever. They're not as descriptive, you, you can't really judge condition that well, and when you're not there face to face to actually see the items, you're kind of dependent on what they're telling you, and I have to say, it was completely accurate, and when we arrived, I was really, really happy. Now, not all of them have arrived yet, so what I'm going to do is, like, cut, um, I'm going to do another video, but I'm going to cut it onto this video, so it's going to be one epic haul so if you want to you know if you want to pause this video and go and grab a cup of tea or whatever um or whether you want to pause this video halfway through and you know re-establish it a day later or something because it is going to be a fairly long video uh that's cool um but yeah just stick around because there's some good items and without further ado i'm gonna get on with it right sorry guys i was interrupted and i went up to the charity shop and i did a load of other little bits and bobs but now i'm ready to get on with the haul so uh yeah i'm just gonna go through like piles of stuff with you really quickly at the start to get so that then we can get to the really good higher value items um i don't know how i'm gonna be bundling all these games uh, that'll come later on when I'm listing, well, just before I'm listing them, I'll bundle them up and stuff accordingly. What I'll do is, any games that I feel are, are notable or worth sharing, you know, in more detail, I will uh, talk to you a bit more about them. Uh, but otherwise, I'll just, like, hold some up to the camera, and, uh, you know, you can see them, obviously, there, and move on to the next one, next one, next one, and then we'll get on to the individual and maybe more higher value games. Um, so yeah, that's those. So Mass Effect, uh, Tom Clancy, Splinter Cell, Assassin's Creed, Tomb Raider. Some of them are prime bundle suspects. There, uh, you know, Assassin's Creed could be could be bundled with a few other Assassin's Creeds if it's still worth it. Tomb Raider could be bundled with another Tomb Raider if I've got one. Um, and also you can just do like action themed job lots or racing themed job lots, that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, that's those. Um, we've got some PS4 games, and this is. Um, this is where I can actually show you really how good some of these, can, the condition of some of these are. As you can see, discs are spotless, really, really lovely, and manual is there. Now, there are a few um, that he did say, I don't know how, quite how many, but there's a handful without the manuals. And again, there's a handful with some light scratching, but discs on an overall sense are really, really lovely. Uh, I mean, I'll show you here, this Watch Dogs, uh, again, is lovely. Whoa, 
if I drop, I nearly drop the disc there, but lo lovely, absolutely lovely. Now, I'll show you here, Assassin, um, so that's Watch Dogs for the PS4. Uh, this Batman Arkham Knight actually is missing the manual, but it does have an insert in there. So, oh, is it missing the manual, actually? I don't know, let's check. No, I think it is, yeah. But it does have the inserts in there, so it's not complete loss, really, with that. Um, and even so, people still, you know, there's definitely still a market for them anyway, so there's some PS4 games there. Um, we've got some uh, DS games there. They're not necessarily a ready-made bundle, but I, I might bundle these up, I'm not sure. Um, but again, there, lovely condition. I mean, I mean DS games are usually, you, you usually find them in good condition, to be fair. Uh, Rhythm Paradise, Alice in Wonderland, just going to go through these very quick. My Sims Kingdom. I would say I don't think there's anything there, you know, really worth selling individually, but I'll, I will do a bit of research, see if there is, but um, I don't think there is. But we'll uh, bundle them up anyway, they'll be make nice bun uh, bundle su suspects. Uh, Xbox 360 VGA cable, AV HD AV cable. Um, boxed, um, unboxed, these seem to be going about six, seven quid on eBay. Might be able to get ten quid, something like that, because it's boxed. I'm not sure. I'll see. I'll have a shoot on that, see uh, where we go. Uh, we've got this little orb, um, dual controller charge dock, compatible with PS4. So, yeah, don't, I don't know on price on that one, um, but there's certainly going to be something in it. Uh, we've got uh, another big bundle, well not a big bundle, but a little bundle of uh, Xbox 360. Now, these bundles aren't in any order, I'm just showing you them, I'm just pulling them up, you know, they've not they've not been bundled or anything like that. Um, so, yeah, notable ones in this little bundle, Skyrim Legendary Edition, that's going to be worth some money. Now, I haven't sent, I've not put that in my FBA pile because on the listing, on the, uh, the listing for this on Amazon, it's actually a classics, an Xbox 360 classics uh, um, edition. So on the photo it says Xbox 360 classics, so I don't really want to send that in. Uh, but certainly there'll be some money on that on eBay. It's probably worth selling individually, that one. Um, this one also intrigued me, but it might be one of them uh, red herrings where you like the look of the game. You think, oh, that looks like it could be a niche one. It could be worth some money. But it might be a red herring and it might not be worth anything, but... I don't know, it just looks uh, like it's one of those niche games that could be worth something, but you get that quite a lot with video games. You get games that you think might be worth a lot of money but aren't, or the opposite way around, that you think aren't worth any money but are. So, and you get that quite a lot. So, uh, you know, we've got Far Cry in there, we've got Prototype 2, that sort of stuff. That Alan Wake, Wake might be something, but I'm not sure, I can't remember. I've had it before, but I can't remember whether it was worth anything or not. Um, Got some other things there, Gears of War 3, uh, Gears of War 1 and 2 bundle, so what I could do is maybe bundle those, you know, Gears of War, Gears of War 2 and Gears of War 3 up if it's worth it, I'm not sure, uh, Need for Speed the Run, that's not really worth anything I don't think, but I'll bundle it up with some other racing games or some other Need for Speeds, not sure on that one. Darkness 2, but we'll, you know, we'll see. And then the other, uh, another notable one here is, not necessarily worth loads, but um, Halo 3, it's just because it's sealed, it's quite cool to find that sealed anyway. Just, I just like finding sealed video games. <laughs> I don't know why, I just have this weird thing with finding sealed video games, it's cool. Um, but yeah, so, that's cool. And again, with condition, you can see that most of these games actually do have their original seals on, but they've not been taken off. And they're just so, really, really good condition. Just really, really good condition in there. Obviously, it's got manual, it's got its map or something in there. You know, just, yeah, I'm really happy with the condition of these. And as I say, the discs are, discs are great. Um, and that one, as I say, is even sealed, so that's cool. Um, so, yeah, that's those. I imagine, I don't know what I can get for Halo, maybe 10 quid, something like that. I, I don't know, I've not researched it. I'd have to, I have to have a quick look, but that's those. Um... Right then, we've got uh, Far Cry 2, Hitman, Dark Sector. That might be worth something, I'm not sure, but we'll see. Uh, Far Cry 2, uh, Hitman, nothing screaming out at me there. Red Dead Redemption, Undead Nightmare. That's, I reckon that's going to be a pretty cool game. I've never played it, so yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. Uh, Black Spells, uh, 
Uh, we've got some more games here. We've actually got a three in one game there. That's probably worth selling individually. Uh, we've got Batman Arkham City. That'll probably bundle up okay with another Batman game if I've got one for the 360. Uh, we've got Dishonored Assassin's Creed 2, which will bundle up with the other Assassin's Creed. And if I've got any more, uh, I can add to the bundle. Uh, and then Saints Row the Third, again, just something, something for bundling, really. Um, right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually put all these games on the floor once I've done them, because I think that's the easiest way to remember. Um, I don't know whether I show, showed you them. I think I just did, but Mass Effect, um, Tom Clancy. Assassin oh, yeah, I think I did show you them. Sorry. I'm getting confused. I'm getting confused, but, yeah, that was those anyway. Um, oh, there we go. There we go. I've got Batman. Uh, Xbox 360 Arkham, Arkham Asylum, so they'll bundle up well. Probably not for a lot of money. Actually, I don't know. I might need to actually add something to that bundle because I don't think they're going to be... I don't know. Maybe if I find another Batman game or something like that, then I could do a, a bit more of a substantial bundle because I don't think they're... I, I mean, you could used to get a bit more money from them, but now I don't know uh, just for those two games. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, we've got in here... I'll just do this here. Uh, we've got Wage, Saints Row, uh, Stranglehold. I'm not sure whether that's worth anything on its own. Uh, Stuntman, Ignition, uh, Splinter Cell, and Resident Evil uh, Gold Edition. So, yeah, that's those. Um, right, where can we go here? Oh, well, I know. We'll, uh, oh, no, well, I know what we'll do. We'll do these. So we'll change it up and do some Xbox original games. Uh, Jade Empire, I don't think is worth much. Um... Enclave, or I never know with this one because the sword. See there, the sword goes right through that that letter there, and I always wonder: is it a G or a C? But I think it's a C, so it's Enclave. Um, the Incredible Hulk Ultimate Destruction and uh, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. Oh, actually, I've got another. Um, I've got a pretty cool game in the other room that's actually worth some money. So what I'm going to do is once I've done all these video, uh, these get these games, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to come back and show you that game because that one's a pretty valuable one actually. Well, not really valuable, but you know it's a semi rare one or something if you want to say. Um, so yeah, that's those. We've got some more Xbox 360. I'm going to try and get through these uh, all at the same time. So we've got Bioshock. Dead Rising, Hitman Blood Money, Mercenaries 2, Condemned 2, Dead Island. There's some good bundle, uh, you know, good uh, bundle suspects in there, so that's pretty cool. Um, so they'll be alright. Um, Duke Nugent Forever, Darkness, Condemned, Saint Row, uh, Riddick, Just Cause, Just Cause 2. Again, some, some lovely bundle suspects in there that will really do well in uh, some nice bundles, so that's cool. Um... We've got uh, Metro 2033, uh, Grand, Grand, uh, GTA 4, uh, Tony Hawk's Project 8, Crackdown, Sleeping Dogs, Max Payne. Not sure, nothing's really jumping out at me with those, but we'll see. I'll have to double double check those. But nothing's really, really jumping out at me. Um, we've got uh, Perfect Dark, Dark Zero, that might be something, but I'm not sure. Uh, Wet, Bioshock 2, which could always bundle... With Bioshock uh, and maybe a few others. Um, uh, the Witcher 2, Assassins of Kings, Halo 3, Alien vs. Predator, yeah. So, that's those. Um, right, we are we've, we've got through the bulk of those Xbox 360, which is good. We have a um, sharpshooter gun. Uh, Joytech sharpshooter gun. So... That's pretty cool, actually. I quite like that. I believe it's for the Xbox original. Yeah, I believe it's for the Xbox original. Um, right, we've got some PSP games. We've got uh, again. If anything jumps out, I'll you know I'll uh, mention it. Uh, dry, but I think a lot of the PSP games, a few of them went to uh, went in my Amazon FBA box. So when we actually come to do the FBA stuff, uh, there'll be some better ones in there. Um, Driver 76, Secret Agent Clank. I was going to send, well, I actually had an Amazon return of uh, Secret Agent Clank. You know, well, not an Amazon return, but when I got all my stuff returned to me from Amazon, that was in there. So I don't think I'm going to send that in. That's why I've got it there. GTA Vice City Stories, Pla uh, Platinum Edition, Deadhead Fred, um, and Resistance Retribution. Loved that game on the PS3. That was awesome. 
Um, I didn't actually ever have, have it. I just went around my friends and we played lo We played it loads. It was well good. Um, but yeah, that was that one. We've got oh, things are falling there. Uh, double pack Lara Croft Tomb Raider Legend Anniversary. Not sure. Don't know whether that's worth signing individually or not. I'll have to have to double check with that. But um, it might be because it's a little double pack thing anniversary pack. But we'll have to see. Um, so that's those. We've got um, Lego Batman video game. I think that might be borderline bundling now uh, rather than selling individually. Uh, Siphon Filter logo sh Logan Shadow, uh, a little UMD video there, um, put that there. Little Big Planet. Not sure whether there's any uh, money in that. And then we've got uh, we've got Jack and Daxter: The Lost Frontier. Um, a lot of this really is bundling. Uh, Lemming, Lemmings, Beta Rager. Because as I say, I pulled out the good stuff that will be going to FBA. Uh, God of War, Chains of Olympus, so, yeah, that's cool, um, so that's all those, one second. You may be thinking, wow, he's going fast, but I'm trying to get go fast because this video will be so long if I don't. Um, so, yeah, I showed those. Um, we've got a Nintendo DS band hero, I'm not sure on that one, it might be worth signing individually because it is a little sort of pack and it... Again, in really good condition. Can you see? I mean, they're all in... You know, it's in this original foam and everything. It's really, really lovely condition. Uh, and we've got the manuals and inserts in there. And then we've got the game. I thought, hang on, where's the game? But then I realised it's actually attached to the top of the cardboard there. So, yeah, really, really lovely. Uh, really, really lovely. If I can even get those back in. I think that's in there, yeah. Right, so, and it's got the little hand thing for the Guitar Hero that I showed you. So, I don't know, that might be worth signing individually, actually. I'll have to double check. This one intrigued me. I've not researched it yet. Um, Dead and Furious. Don't know. Nintendo DS. I've, I've, I've had quite a lot of Nintendo DS time, uh, games in my time of doing video games, and I've never seen this. So, yeah, that's why it uh, intrigued me. It's got its manual there and stuff, so... Yeah, I don't know. It might be worth signing individual. I haven't a clue, though. Yeah. Um, but that's that one. We've got some N64 games. So we'll do a couple of these N64. Only a couple of uh, these games. Uh, International Superstar so Soccer 64. Uh, box. Again, fairly nice condition box, actually. Um, I was actually really surprised when he sent photos of these boxes. Because these boxes are really good. Really, really nice. Um, but yeah, Superstar Soccer 64. It's a shame... But it couldn't have been like a, a really premium title, but still, N64 came in a box. I'll take that all day long. Because, um, I mean, a lot of these cardboard boxes just got trashed. Um, so it's really nice to see games in boxes like this. Um, I think it's uh, only looking about 15 quid, maybe 20 quid or something for that. I'm not sure. I did my research quite a while ago. So I'll have to redo some research on that. Uh, and then N64 at Sight Bite 64. Um, so. Yeah, um, again, I'll have to do some more research on that, but I imagine um, about 15, 20 quid, something like that in its box. Um, but still, we, I, I mean, that one in particular, that box is, is a little bit better, but that one's really, really, really lovely. Really nice to see them, you know, in that condition uh, and well treated. And then, uh, finally, for this little bit here, uh, we've got Tomb Raider Survival Edition Xbox 360. I did scan that into Amazon because I thought, oh, that's definitely going up to Amazon, that, but... Um, I don't know whether it, I don't I think it was the rank. I think the rank was a bit high for me. I don't know. Or it, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't send it in, but or didn't think about sending it in. But yeah, that's that anyway. But even so, it'll get me some money back on eBay. It's definitely worth signing individually that one. So uh, yeah, one sec. I can't. Oh oh, I know. That's why. I'm trying to get it. Oh, there we go. All right, cool. Yeah, it's got. The game in there. Oh, it's actually got... Look at that. That's sealed. That's not even been opened. Wow. Really lovely. Uh, and then you've got some other stuff in here. And you've got the book there. Really lovely condition again. Seems like the theme of this haul, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, that's that one. 
cool i'll sell that individually on ebay i will rescan it into amazon actually just to check why i didn't send that in but yeah it, i don't know i think it was too high rank or something um, but you think on something like that, the rank would be really good. So I, I don't know why I didn't send it in. Anyway, so that's that. What I'm going to quickly do, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to get that other game from the other room that I said, the original Xbox One. And I'm going to go through the Amazon FBA stuff. And then what I'm going to do is come back to you. And uh, I'll show you the Amazon FBA stuff in a little bit more detail. And I'll slow down the pace a little bit. And then, um, obviously, I'll show you the other stuff that will be coming tomorrow or the next day and then i'll clip the two videos together so yeah thanks for watching guys i'll be right back in a minute right then i'm back i have researched i've scanned everything in and i've got a nice list for you guys here and the good thing is what i'm going to do is keep this list because then when i'm listing uh in the next few days i can basically go off this list and it just helps things along really Obviously, I'm still going to look at market prices anyway, but it can just help things along as well. Just give me a reference point. So, we're going to go through them. Uh, first off, I'm going to get the other stuff from the other room. Uh, it's like, first off, I'm going to go through the stuff that I got from the other room uh, that I forgot to share with you in the eBay sort of side of things. And then, obviously, I've got my other stuff coming tomorrow, so I've got, you know, that'll be added on to the haul as well. But, anyway... Um, so let's go through some more of the eBay stuff. So I got this rather nice case, a Nintendo DS case. I mean, you could use it for, I don't know actually, I don't know whether it's going to be too small for a 3DS or something, but you could probably use it for a 3DS or a 2DS or, or no, actually not a 2DS, but uh, what's the other one? You know, DS Lite or a DSi or whatever they're called, you know, there's loads of different variants. Um, but it's really nice, it's, you know, a plasticky or a metal kit, I don't know whether it's, well, there's bits of metal on it, but I don't know if it's a metal case or a plasticky case. But um, it's quite solid one anyway. Got some stickers on it, so that was go that's going to go on eBay for some money. Um, so yeah, that's quite nice. Um, right then, I'll do the oh, and then there was that little case in the job lot as well. Uh, we've got Super Scribble Nauts, another DS game there. We've got uh, uh, these are just. A few other little bits and bobs that I had in your room. Uh, Xbox Psycho Notes. I believe that goes for about 15 to 20, that one. So, yeah, quite happy with that there on the uh, original Xbox. And still, again, the seal is still... I mean, it's not obviously the seal's broken, but it's still uh, been, been kept on there. It's really in lovely condition. So, yeah, I mean, I'm overwhelmed with this haul, really, how lovely it is. Um, I'm very, very excited to show you the uh, Amazon FBA stuff in a minute. Um, and you should be too, because there's some really nice games in there. Um, Xbox Dream 4, The Longest Journey. Uh, yeah, like a sort of a semi-rare game, this. Might even be classed as a rare game, but um, it's uh, in terms of price, it, in terms of price, I think someone sold one for about 35 quid new. So used, you get about sort of a £20 mark. But it is sort of a semi-rare game, and it's quite cool. Uh, it's quite cool, looks quite cool on there. It looks like a uh, one of those sort of niche games. Um, yeah, I don't know, it's sort of uh, maybe an older game. Like, not an older game until, uh, in terms of, it is an older game, but what I mean is um, a game with, uh, like, a in the past, it's set, it's set in the past, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, pretty cool, so I, I like, quite like the look of that one. Um, so that's those. Now I'm going to touch about these four here. Actually, there are a couple of others as well, but these four I'm not sure whether I want to send in or not, really. These are on, like, well, that, sorry, that one actually I can't send in. I just realised it's um, it's because it's a classics. I thought, uh, basically I scanned it in a while back and I put it in the FBA pile by mistake. Uh, the listing, that it, you know, without the classics is... Uh, worth sending in but because this is the classics version it's not worth sending in so that'll have to go on ebay again it's got the seal thing still on there which is uh, another sign of quality in this haul um but yeah so that's that one so i'm gonna end up whacking that on ebay i think and we've got need for speed most wanted it's just because it's a bit of a higher rank it's got nine thousand, which okay isn't terrible it's not a terrible terrible rank but um, it was, I think it goes for about seven, eight quid, and I was like, mm, it's probably worth just going on eBay. So I pulled that out. Um, Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell pulled that out to go on eBay. 
and I pull, pulled Gangs of London out as well. Don't know why that was it, those two were in the FBA pal actually. That has a 12,000 rank, which is over my um, sort of you know my my limit really. And that has a 10,000 rank, but it's only about 7.99 in FBA, so you know I wouldn't really want to be sending those three. So I pulled those out. There's also a couple here. We'll get into the FBA stuff now. Uh, a couple here that I'm like mm, on the border of sending in now. I've got me a little thing uh, wrote down here. So we've got Ratchet and Clank. That's 2,000 in video games. And um, I'm thinking I can get about 7 to 10 quid for that. Only reason being is because there's no current FBA offers. So I can kind of charge a little bit more for that. Uh, and we've got Daxter there with an FBA offer coming in at 10 quid. Uh, 5,000 in video games. So I thought... For the purpose of this haul, I know I don't really send in stuff less than a tenner, but it's got a half decent wank, it's not a terrible wank, and uh, it is a tenner, so I thought I will send that in. So, yeah, they're, they're, they're those, so I will send those in. Now, this surprised me. Simpsons game, it's not worth a lot of money or anything, it's worth uh, £14, so it, you know, it's decent money, but not like mega mega money, but it just surprised me, I thought it would be one of those games that would be worth maybe 5 99 6 99 on Amazon, but yeah, uh, 13 99 the FBA offers are coming in at, so I was happy with that, so that's good, so that's going in for 14 quid. Now, we've got this here, this is a Lego Harry Potter years 5 to 7, little 3DS box set. And what I mean by a box set is it's got in it, it's got the game here with it with its manual as normal, um, which is pretty standard for this haul, and this little poly bag. And I, I've, I've sold quite a few of these on FBA. I did I did quite a lot of sniping of them, and I made quite a good uh, good return, you know, on a lot of those. I sold about. 20, 25, something like that. I was buying them for about four or five quid when I could off eBay and uh, flipping them into about anywhere between about 17 and 20 pound. And that's as far as, uh, that's as much like OA or RA that I'll do. You know, that's my comfort level with RA or OA. Um, but it became, it didn't become profitable anymore. Prices were going up on eBay. Prices weren't going up the same on Amazon, so I couldn't snipe them anymore. Um, but, I mean, I've not checked. I mean, it might still be worth doing. Well, probably not now because I've just told, told you guys, but it's all right. Um, so, um, yeah, I did make quite a bit of money from them in the past, so I kind of knew what they went for. But the thing is, this box set, when you scan it in, 35000 in video games, which is really quite poor. And um, uh, the, the, the price on there I don't think was terrible, but it's 35000 in video games. So I thought, oh, you know what, this will go to eBay. But then I thought to myself, well, I don't really want to do this because it's like splitting the box set up. But if I did do it, I'd make more money. So if I actually sold that on Amazon and that on Amazon as two separate things, I'd make more money than if I just sold it as a box set on eBay. So I don't know. I might sell that on Amazon individually. You're very welcome to research that. It's the lab. I think it's called the lab. Polybag, if, I, if I'm remembering correctly, 30111, and then obviously that, I think that goes for about 15 quid on, on FBA, um, if I'm right, so I might split it up, but I feel, I don't feel good about splitting it up, because it's a nice little box set, this, um, I might be tempted just to sell it on eBay, for around the sort of 20 quid, I imagine I could get for it on eBay, but it seems a shame to, you know, I mean, it seems a bit, you know, a bit unbusinessman like if I didn't try and get the most amount of profit out of it as possible. So I might split it up. Um, but yeah, so that's that one. Right, so we're on to uh, games here. We've got Metro P Prime for the GameCube, and I'll just show you here again with its manual, and uh, it's got the game in there. Very light scratching to it. Obviously, these are slightly older games, so you expect a slight bit of scratching, but it's still. In decent condition for the age. Uh, what were these? Metroid Prime was £20 on Amazon FBA. I might be able to get a bit more than that. But we'll see. It fluctuates. Sometimes it'll go down. Sometimes it'll go up. But that's about about where I'm going to be pointing that at. Um, and then uh, this is Metro Prime Echoes. Which is Metroid Prime 2. And that is, again, 20 quid on that one. So it's about similar prices, to be honest. Maybe get 25 for that one, which is odd because it's a, you know, it's this is the second one. You'd think you'd get more for the first one. But, yeah, 
Anyway, that one says they're compatible with the Wii, which is great, because I don't, I don't have a game, GameCube at the moment to test, so that's cool. Red Dead Redemption, it would be about £10, but I've got to try and carefully get that off, so yeah. Uh, I'm never very good at getting them off, but anyway, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, I think this has its manual, yeah. All cool in there, so that's quite cool. Um... Lollipop chainsaw again. I think a ten on me. Yeah, ten pound on that one. Don't know. Oh no, I thought I thought this one might. I, well, I did have an inkling. This one is one of the ones without its manual, so I might be shooting a little bit less than that. It's debatable whether that one might, might go on eBay now, actually, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, Grand Theft Auto Five. Uh, about I think twelve ninety nine. I, I did research that a while back in about twelve ninety nine. I didn't research it just then because I was quite confident that that's about twelve quid on Amazon FBA. Uh, Saints Row Two. This surprised me randomly. There's no FBA offers, uh, and I'm looking about seven to ten quid on that. So that's that one. Right. Uh, get into some more interesting stuff again. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to ramp it up. So you know every. Uh, so every few minutes we're ramping up to better and better stuff until like the really cool stuff but um, I've kind of not done that because I've shown you those GameCube games but anyway uh, The Amazing Spider-Man Xbox 360 doo -doo -doo, 15 quid on that one so I'm happy with that uh, Orange The Orange Box about 15, 16 quidish on that one so I'm happy with that uh, Where are we? Oh I don't think Half-Life yeah Half-Life um, 15 quid on that one uh, Doom BFG Edition, now I have, I think, I have an inkling this one doesn't have its manual due to the weight of it. Oh no, no it does have its manual, it just, it just felt very light, you know when a game feels light and you think, oh it's not got its manual. Um, BFG, BFG, Doom, 14 quid for that one, so it has got its manual so I can shoot top end on that one, uh, 14 quid. Actually, I'll leave this one first. You pro no, you've probably seen it already, so I'm going to show it you. Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. Um, what was this one? £31 on that one, so I was really happy again. All lovely in there. All lovely there, so I'm, I'm happy with that one. And I don't think I've ever had that. I don't think I've ever had that. I, I have had a Zelda before, but not. no, I've not had that one. I've not had that one. I have had a couple of Zeldas on the GameCube, but not that one. So... Yeah, that's that. Something that I'm probably going to sell on eBay. Um, it's New Super Mario Bros. You probably know the value of that. I don't. <laughs> and that's how, I mean, that's probably the one one video game that pretty much everyone knows the value of. And I, I've not researched it and I haven't a clue. It's probably about a 10 or something like that. I don't know. But I'll have to do, do some more research on that. I've not had it in a while. Um, right. So let's do... Oh, let's do this one here. Michael Jackson, The Experience, New and Sealed. Uh, shooting for about 8 quid on there on F. A. Uh, skate, I think, did I put about 10, 15 quid on this? Skate. Skate, yeah, about 10, 15 quid on that one. So that's cool. Uh, Spider-Man Edge of Time. Now let me check this. Is, yeah, I've got it, sir. I've got its manual in there. Um, do do Sp Spider-Man Edge of Time. 20 to 25 on that one. These Spider-Man games are worth looking out for. A lot of these Spider-Man games do really well. Um, especially even some of the ones on the PS4. For some reason, they just seem to hold value or even game value really, really well. So, yeah, they are worth looking out for. Fallout, I think that was about 10.15. Yeah, 10.15 for that one. Uh, Lego Harry Potter, 10 quid, I think. Yeah, 10 quid on that one. Or 360. Need Speed, this is below my 50... Well, actually, quite a few of these are below my 15 quid. But what I'm doing is, if it's got a decent rank on it, half decent rank on it, I'll send it in. That's 820-odd in video games. So it is only 8 quid, but I'm going to send it in because it's got a really good rank on it and it's going to sell quick. Um, right, I don't... Did I show you these? I don't even know I've shown you these. Uh... This is Uncharted, the Nathan Drake collection. Sorry, I'm just looking down there. Uncharted, about 20 quidish on that one. Watch Dogs 2. Watch Dogs again, similar to the Uncharted. Dying Light, this doesn't have its manual. I did check before. Doesn't have its manual. So, I've put down here 10 to 15-ish, and I think that's 
taking into consideration it not having its manual, but I'm not 100% on that. It might be a bit less than that. Um, right, we've got Metro Redux for a PS4, brand new and sealed with a little uh, PS4 strip there. We've got... Sorry, I'm just having a look again. Can't see it. Can't see it anywhere. Met oh, Metro, 10 to 15. Now, this would be about 22 quid, but... I'll have to sell it as used very good or used like new on Amazon because of that there. I'd be tempted to sell it as used um, very good. Now, I could always attempt to get that off, but I don't know. It's quite a big thing. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't feel comfortable trying to attempt to get that off even because if I try and attempt to get that off, I'm going to rip the seal completely or something. That, that looks very, very big to me. I mean, I'm used to getting little stickers off here and there, but that one's massive. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, like 10 to 15 on that. I mean, if I can get that off by any miracle, then, I mean, I still have to sell it as light new because there's going to be some sort of residue or stretching to the seal and stuff. But still, anyway. So about 10 to 15 quid on that one we're going to pump for. Uh, Tomb Ra uh, PS4 Rise of the Tomb Raider 20 Year Celebration. Lovely little, uh, in a little slip case or something this one is. Um... Where is this? Tomb Raider, 25 quid on that one, so I'm happy with that. Um, and then we've got a load of... Yeah, this is it. So we've got a load of uh, 3DS and Nintendo DS games. So we've got Wayman 3D, which we're looking at 8 quid on. I do remember that, so I don't really need to even look at that. Um, Super Mario DS. I'm going to have to check that one. One sec. Super Mario, 20 quid on that one, or there, or thereabouts. Kingdom Hearts, I, I'm going to have a play of that, because I've never played this. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to have a play of that, that Disney Kingdom Hearts. Uh, that is Disney Kingdom Hearts, 358 slash 2 days. Don't even know what that means, but <laughs> we'll take it. Anyway, uh, do, 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 where is it? now? Kingdom Hearts, 20 quid on that one, which I'm pretty amazed with. Street Fighter... About 15 on that one. Uh, Zelda, another Zelda, which is pretty cool. Uh, the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D in, on the 3DS. Um, 15 quid on that one. Now, this one does have its manual, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It just felt a bit light, this one. You can kind of tell with video games whether you have the manual or not. But it did feel a bit light, that one. We've got another three other games, and then we are done this segment. So, uh, 3DS, Donkey Kong Country 3D Returns, or Donkey Kong Country Returns, 20-ish uh, on that one, which is crazy, um, Animal Crossing Wild World, uh, 13 quid, I'm looking, 13 quid? God, that's a bit low, I was expecting that to be about 15, 15 to 20, that one, but, mm, don't know, anyway, it must have come down in price a little bit, I don't know. Maybe it was never that, but... And then Ridge Racer, new and sealed. New and sealed there. So, Ridge Racer, new and sealed, is 28 quid, which, again, I was surprised at with that one. Um, but, you know what Amazon's like with fees, so, yeah. Um, although I'll be sending them up, um, and I'll be getting a good, good amount for them, oh, God, fees are going to be horrendous. Um, my fees were... Um, yeah, my fees, like, the last couple of months have increased a little bit. I don't know why. I don't know, but it, they have increased slightly, I think. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Um, but they do seem to have, have just gone up slightly. I, d I need to actually um, have a look at, you know, my data and stuff and have a look at, um, you know, the price I'm setting for European markets, you know, that percentage increase. Uh, and just see see what's going on really because it does seem to have increased like I don't know I don't know but um, yeah anyway what I'll do is I'll come back for another segment um, on another day basically when I get the rest of the stuff and then I'll show you that and we'll do eBay stuff and we'll do Amazon stuff right then guys the other box has come I thought it was two boxes I was waiting for but actually it was one um, yeah so I'm going to show you the four consoles now um, and then that'll wrap things up. So, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the haul anyway so far. I'll get on and show you these consoles, and then I'll leave the one to last that I'm really, really, really excited about. So, yeah, uh, again, in great condition, all boxed these consoles. 
um, which obviously is just a, an added bonus really. Um, so first off we've got um, a Sony Radiant Red PSP, and I'll just show you inside here, it's in really nice condition again, I'll just show you inside there as you can see there's the console itself in its original foam we've got um instructions i don't even know whether we've been taken out of a packet but if they have they're in really really good condition and then we've got the charger in there as well i think that's all that's meant to be in there i'm not sure i'll have to double check but i think that's all that's meant to be in there but yeah really really nice condition there if i can even get it there we go if i can close it so I'm quite happy. Well, actually, I will just quickly show you the console out of the foam because I didn't really show you it very well then, did I? Um, but, uh, one second. If I can get it out. There we go. Oh, my God. Yeah, that is... That is in superb condition. Wow. Oh, my God. Yeah, that, that is absolutely superb condition. Really, really nice. I don't know if you can see that very well, but really lovely condition a few finger marks on it just for me then but yeah that is that is lovely i think all the buttons are yeah the buttons are lovely wow that is lovely that is really really nice i think i've had one no i've had a, i think i've had a blue psp before a um what's what's the blue color one called i don't know because they have different names from like this one's radiant red and then we've got like aqua blue or something i don't know but i had the blue one anyway one second let me just put that down there and then get this in properly but that that is lovely that is really really nice what i'm gonna do is actually instead of like faffing around instead of faffing around and wasting your time while i'm putting things back i'm gonna actually cut the video so i'll cut it here and then we'll move on to the next one because otherwise you'll just be watching me getting things back in cases and stuff right then next one is this i believe it's cosmos black or cosmo black or something uh, the colour of this console is called, obviously we all have different, yeah, there it is, Cosmos Black, so like, you know, in the Cosmos, uh, Cosmos, 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 I don't know, but anyway, it's a black one, it's a black 3DS, again, in boxed condition, I shall open this one up for you as well, because this is quite easy to open up, um, we've got some sort of hard, either metal or plastic case there, we've got the, uh, again, in its original bag it looks like we've got the operations manual there lovely we've got some other pamphlets leaflets whatever you want to call them customer support leaflets it's got everything in here to be honest um and then i'll lift this up oh there we go we've got the charger and then in it again all there's all the inlays in here and everything in its original foam here is and again, in lovely condition, in lovely condition, let's open this up, let's see if there's any, any marks on the screen. Or any. It, it's lovely, it's absolutely lovely condition, that's just a little speck of dust, see if I can get that off, there we go. But that is in lovely condition, really, really, really happy with that. So, yeah, I mean, it just shows the level of, of condition with this haul and, and the, um, how well kept the bin, really, just... It's amazing to see uh, video games that have been really, really well kept. Because, um, you know, sometimes I've had hauls and the games in the hauls haven't been exactly well kept or they haven't been in as good a condition. So I'm really happy um, that these are all in really, really nice condition. Right, what I'm going to do is pause the video again here and then we'll get on with the next one. Right then, next one. Oh, God, this is a bit of an heavy one. Xbox 360. Uh, 60 gigabyte version boxed again and honestly this is in great condition as well I don't really want to get everything out but I'll just show you on the top here again there's foam in the sides here it's in its original plastic cover in there the console I will quickly remove the console and then see what's underneath and see if I can show you what's underneath fairly easily but I mean it's just phenomenal. It's phenomenal condition. Oh god. Um right, let me move them. Move it up we got. So we've got some manuals and stuff like that. And then everything else. I'll just show you the controller. Everything else is in this green original 
um, you know, original wrapping that it came in, which is just crazy. It's absolutely crazy. There's so much stuff in here. Bloody hell. So, um, yeah, really nice condition again on that one. And I did know this, you know, obviously when he was sending me photos, I knew the fact that it was in really good condition. But when you see something, you know, when you actually properly see something yourself with your own eyes, you know, you can really, like, you can really appreciate the condition a lot more. Um, something else, oh, there we go, that's that. So, let me put those down here. Right, I'm going to cut the video again. Right then, so next up, well last up, this is the one I'm really, really excited about. Obviously, as you can tell, this is just the box. I've got it, got the console over there ready to show you. Um, but this is a boxed N64 and I believe it's, I know it's the Jungle Green, but I think the range that it comes from is called the Fantastic Colours range. Um, but I'm not 100% on that, I'm not 100% accurate, but... Uh, yeah, it is the Jungle Green uh, N64 console, one that has been on my bucket list for quite a while um, in terms of, you know, reselling, picking it up to resell, um, and I'm really excited about this. Now, I will show you, there is one little issue with it, there is a little bit of a crack in the console, and I will show you that, and obviously the, bo the box is in really good condition for its age, but it does have, you know, slight bits of wear, but, you know, it is... A fairly old console so you kind of have to expect that especially you know with it being a cardboard box and stuff like that most of these boxes will probably be ripped to shreds or whatever by now so yeah it's, it's amazing even just to get it boxed so yeah that's the box for it anyway and whoa. Ugh, see what I mean I drop everything right there's the box it, it's still intact uh, so yeah, um, even like the boxes alone you can sell obviously, but I'm not going to do that because I've got the console. Um, but yeah, I will. I'll just cut the video again and I'll come back and show you the console. Right, so here's the console. It's in um, the original uh, what you call it polystyrene. Um, I'm gonna try and tip it up slightly so you can see it this way, and then I'll start pulling bits out. So. You can kind of see it in there with other bits and bobs in there. But I'm just going to put that down carefully down there. Um, and I just want to show you the console. I'll just show you where that little crack is. It's there. Don't know where you're going to be able to see it. But when I actually feel it, like along here, you can't actually feel the crack. So I think it's actually cracked underneath. I'm not sure. Um, obviously, when I'm listing it, I'll describe that. But still, I'm just so happy to have one. Um, and that's, you know, that can be expect to be expected, really, if uh, people have used them quite a lot. Oh, I've got some drilling going on downstairs. I hope that's not coming up uh, on the video too much. Um, but, yeah, really, really happy with that. I'm really, really happy. So that's the console unit. Um, and then we've got, uh, we've got Power Lead in there. It comes with, uh, again, Perfect Dark with the manual there. Um, we've got Power Lead. Uh, and we've got some other leads in there. Got all sorts of other leads in there. Um, and then we've got the controller here. Ooh. We've got the controller here. And we've got a, oh, what's this? What's this? RF? Is this an RF unit or something? Let me check. Yeah, RF modulator there. Um, whoop. Alright, let me just see this. Alright then, if I can get this back in here, oh that's, there we go, uh, but as you can see, you know, it's all in foam, don't know whether that's the original foam or not, but yeah, um, oh we've got some more drilling going on, one sec, so there you go, um, so that's the controller, quite nice, obviously it's an official one, the official Nintendo one, and then other than, oh we've got a controller pack I think in the back, uh, N64 memory card, I don't think it's an official one. Don't think it's an official one, so, but there you go. Um, I'll put that back in the... No, actually, I'll leave that out of the control. It's probably best left out. Um, and then we've got some manuals of some description in there, so pretty happy with that. If you want to know, like, where things are going, the PSP, the uh, 3DS, and the Xbox will probably go to Amazon. The Xbox I might sell on eBay, but I think I, I think I am unrestricted to sell it, so I might send it up to Amazon. 
the N64 is going on eBay. I'm yet to determine a price for it. Um, I've got to take into account the condition. I've got to take into account that slight little crack. But I think I can still get some decent money for it, to be honest, even uh, with, you know, a few tiny little bits um, that, you know, aren't amazing with it. But, you know, I just think that a collector is still going to pay some decent money in this condition because, after all, it is boxed. Um, and a lot of these are hard to come by boxed, you know. I mean, you, you see them on eBay loose quite a lot, but you only every, every now and then see them on eBay boxed properly. So, um, yeah. So I think I still get some decent money for this. Um, and then we've got, oh yeah, we've got the power power thing there. Um, and that's it, basically. And that's everything. I'm just, I'll put it away in a minute. So I hope you enjoyed that haul, guys. Um, pretty cool. Really, really happy to get it. And as I say, like on an overall basis, the condition is amazing. And I hope that you picked up on that throughout the haul, you know, when I've been showing you. Because I have been trying to share with you, uh, you know, how good the condition is. So, really, really happy. I've got to get on the list it all now. I've got an auction tomorrow. And obviously that means more stuff coming through the door. So, it's just really, really hectic at the moment. But I'm going to get on and list it. Um, if you're watching, Clint, thank you very much. Um, really, really, really happy with it. Um, um, yeah, I'll leave it there guys, thank you very much for watching and I will see you very soon.